Hello, I'm Julie Miller, and I'm here to present my book review on Emotional Intelligence 2.0. It's a book written by Travis Bradbury and Jean Greaves. I'll start with the qualifications of the authors. Um, Dr. Travis Bradbury, hold, Bradbury holds a dual PhD, both in clinical and industrial slash organizational psychology from the California School of Professional Psychology. He also has a BS in clinical psychology uh, from the University of California, San Diego. Um, Dr. Jean Greaves holds a PhD in industrial slash organizational psychology from the school, California School of Psychology. She also has a BA in psychology from Stanford University. Both of the authors are best-selling authors um, who have uh, sold books that have been translated in 25 languages and are available in 150 countries. They are also co-founders of Talent Smart, which is a global think tank, and it provides consultative services to 75% of the Fortune 500 companies um, related to emotional intelligence. The purpose of this book, it offers a step-by-step -step approach to improving the reader's emotional intelligence, starting with identifying the reader's current emotional intelligence level, and then using the assessment to specifically um, provide strategies to improve upon the um, opportunities identified in the appraisal. Um, the, the appraisal focuses on four core concepts of emotional intelligence, um, self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. The target audience for this book are readers who want to understand more about emotional intelligence, as well as um, the benefits of increasing their EQ. Um, the reader who wishes to become more successful with whichever profession they choose. Um, it's evidenced in the book that EQ is so critical in success that it accounts for 58% of performance in all types of jobs. Um, there's also evidence in the book that indicates that uh, readers or um, people that possess a high emotional intelligence um, earn more in their jobs. Um, the evidence shows that um, high EQs make more money, an average of $29,000 more per year than someone with a lower EQ. Um, some of the strengths of the book, I feel like it's a easy to read format. Um, it uses stories that keep your attention um, with anecdotes that are easy to recall. Um, it also gives you access to the emotional intelligence appraisal. Um, both prior to reading the book and then you access it again after so you can see that your emotion, emotional intelligence score has increased by using the strategies um, prepared in the book. It also um, general, uh, generates, that is appraisal, generates a personalized assessment based on your responses to the survey and it shows where, where the opportunities um, are greatest for you to improve your emotional intelligence. There's also multiple strategies for each section of the book for each one of those four components. Um, some of the shortcomings of the book, I felt like it was, um, uh, the book is designed to be written in, so it can't be shared from a colleague or, or passed to another colleague. It also has an access code that you have to tear out before you can access the appraisal, and that leads for an opportunity to perhaps lose the access code, and it would make it difficult to um, to complete the post uh, appraisal. Um, I feel like the objectives were met by the author. There was, uh, it, the author points to evidence that higher EQ scores are directly correlated with um, increased success and also increased earning potential. It also provides subjective evidence that your skills were, per, uh, were per improved because you can take that pre-assessment and then the post-assessment, and you can see that your score has improved. Um, I would recommend this book for colleagues in leadership positions, as well as frontline healthcare staff. Um, any of my friends or relatives that are maybe having issues with relationships, because it really um, allows you to um, explore your emotions and your emotional reactions to other people, and also anyone wanting to advance in their current position. These are the references I use for my book review. Thank you.